Hi all. Uh, today our uh, topic of discussion is directives in Angular. So what are directives in Angular? Directives are nothing but uh, instruction to the DOM. Okay, it is like you have a button element. It instructs the DOM. It has to in the browser it has to add a button. Likewise, whenever you add a directive. Maybe what? Uh, maybe your custom name. Maybe highlight. So when you add that uh, the element to the your uh, DOM element, it inserts. It actually adds a extra element like button to the browser, which tells the browser what it needs to do. Okay. This is the this is what the directive is. Okay. Then come into the types of directive. Uh, in Angular, the types of directive is component, structural, and attribute. So let us see first structural directive. The structural directive, as the name implies, it is for change in the DOM layout. Okay, when you put the structural directive into your DOM element, it actually creates or destroys the DOM element. Okay, it makes a change in the DOM layout by adding or removing and the other important point to notice with uh, structural directive is it starts with a dollar so whenever you see dollar that star symbol before a directive you can very well know that it is a structural directive okay so for, for our discussion, let us see two examples. So uh, other thing to notice is whenever you, whenever you see ng in before the directive, you can know that it has been given by Angular. The Angular uh, has given some of the some of the directives they have written for us. So when you see a uh, ng before a directive, it it is yeah Angular directive. Okay. For our example, let us take ng if and ng for. Okay, so let me go to my application. Here I have a simple application. Okay, simple application, and uh, let us make our changes in the root component. So that let us see. So first, our topic of discussion is ng if. Okay, to make you understand what is ng if. So ng if basically. Uh, when the condition satisfies, it shows the element. If the condition does not satisfy, it uh, doesn't show the element. So you will not see the element in the DOM. So let me add an input element for you to understand. So it is of type text and I will give you a value as maybe username. So this will be a, my default value. I will add an attribute now. The ng if attribute I will add. So um, what I am typing input present. So only when the input present evaluates to true, this input element will be shown to the user. So uh, let me first tell you without ng if, you just check whether the element is present. You will check. <coughs> let us see. So you can see the element, right? So let me uh, go to this and add a ng if now. So if it will show the element only when the input present evaluates to true. This element you need to add it to the component. Okay. Let me add input present. Okay. Which is of type boolean. And I will assign it to true. I want to show the element first. Okay. <coughs> now you will be see, able to see the element since input present is evaluated to true. So you are able to see the element. Right. So let me make this input present <coughs> to false. Now in our component HTML, <coughs> this input present 
will be evaluated to false okay same because in component we have made it as false so we should not be able to see the element now so we are not able to see the element so you understand right so <coughs> ng if is making a change to the dom whether it is showing the element element input element or not showing the element it is not hiding it is not showing uh, that element will not be present in the dom next our uh, topic of discussion is ng4 okay let me show ng4 we use it for iterating through the array through the array and displaying the element based on the elements in the array so if consider an array has three elements it will create three div with the uh, each element in the array so let me for that uh, let me add a array first so uh, for example i will take a list of users okay which uh, you have to type it as let uh, it is an array of string for me so we will add so the first element will be a b a b c x y z and maybe so consider this as a list of usernames which i have in the users array so uh, <clears throat> so uh, in my component.html i want to iterate through this array and show usernames my list of usernames as a single line this is what ng4 does for us it iterates through the list and displays the elements the elements in the array okay now how we have to use this div star ng4 okay so this will be user let user of users the users it is present in the component if you see in the component you will see users right so what i want to do is i want to iterate through the users and in each iteration i want to save the value in user <clears throat> and for each iteration during each iteration i want to print the user to the element user to the browser understand right so it will iterate through users for each element iteration of users user will get each element in users maybe a b c x y z and triple s so each in each iteration this will be printed to the browser it happens via via interpolation okay so let us see whether it works now so it is you are able to see right it is printing <coughs> the usernames to the browser so you, if you inspect and see you will get three divs here so you are able to see right three divs so what is happening is this complete element is getting repeated three times because in users we have three elements three usernames okay <coughs> so uh, next our point discussion will be on so we almost completed the structural directive so let us move on to attribute directive what is attribute directive the attribute directives are used for changing the appearance or behavior it is not it does not add or remove an element from the dom the the element which is already present it is adding some behavior or changing the appearance of the element in which you have put this attribute directives so the examples of them is ng class and ng style so here you can notice that the star is not present before the 
directive so let me let us see ng class first okay so ng class so uh, <clears throat> ng class ng class is used for adding a css class based on a condition if a particular value evaluates to true it will add a class if it does not evaluate it will not add so it is for dynamically adding a css class so to so to illustrate this i am having two css classes that is red color and green color okay so <clears throat> when we uh, when this class is applied you will uh, see the font in red color okay the uh, font in red color if this class is applied you will see the font in green color this is what this css class does okay so let us try to add uh, the css class over a input element let me add a input element okay uh, let me have a type text and uh, value as username as before so what i want to display is i want to display this username in red color so let me add this uh, ng class <coughs> So ng class also is key value pass. Okay, you know CSS class inside style you will add key value pass, right? It also works similar way. So I will add this red color. This is my CSS class. Okay, red color. If color equal to equal to red color uh, till now i have not added that uh, in my uh, component so what i want to do is i want the angular to add uh, this css class when color equal to equal to red this color i will add it now into my css just delete this so color which is of type string equal to red okay uh, now let me go to the html <clears throat> so uh, i want to add this red color what i want to do is i want to add this red color which is a style css style which i have added already if this condition satisfies so color which is present in the component should be equal to equal to red if you see now it should be if you go to the browser and see uh, that username font should be red color because this is satisfied now uh, let us check oh, this uh, the error which i have done is the the input to a directive attribute directive you should give it like this okay within uh, how we do property binding right we are actually providing a input to ng class directive so we should uh, put it inside a uh, brackets like we do it for property binding if you do it like this let us see now it should be red color okay you are able to see right uh, the color of the font is red color so if you make uh, uh, <coughs> so uh, this condition satisfy so we are able to see the red color if you make this as something else okay this condition will not be satisfied it will fail so uh, you will see that element will not be in red color so next our uh, point of topic of discussion is ng style which we will see in the next uh, video thank you